call it a day. Water heater keeps tripping the breaker. They said it'll throw it and it'll last a little while, then it'll, then it'll pop it. So I'm going to check the elements. wires out. Check the elements. I got my meter set to continuity. Hear that beep? Top element is good. Go to the bottom element. No beep. Bottom element is bad. That's why it's tripping the breaker. So we're going to have to drain the water heater, twist this one out, put a new one in. So when they turn the breaker back on, the top one comes on first, and the bottom one's off, and then it switches down to the bottom one. That's when it trips the breaker. All right, what we're going to have to do is drain it, hook the hose up, well, turn the water off first, make sure the water's off, how the old pressure will leak out. All right, that's good. Put the pressure out, hook your water hose up, turn this, and it'll start draining. Stairs. Oh, it's gonna take a while to see the the sediment built up. Just gotta be patient. I know some of you guys do it with the with the water heater full, but this is on the second floor. As you get older, I get a little more patient. So she needs a new uh, door blind anyway, so I'm gonna hang that. All right, Brosephine, we're at a trickle. I think it's safe to pull the elements now. Good thing there wasn't a lot of calcium up in there, as you can see over there. Oh, calcium said a bit. All right, I'm going to pull the elements out and show you why the breaker was tripping. Yes, yeah, so this is what I use. A cobalt one and a half inch socket that will pull the elements out. Just put them around that. And uh, comes in a package. You can find these at Home Depot, Lowe's, your local hardware store. Or you can uh, order through the link below in the in description below. I always leave uh, tool links and everything in the description below and have it delivered to your house. All right, let's throw it in. Doesn't look too bad. A little calciumed up, but not too bad. Screw my new one in. Don't forget your washer.
Now this bottom one was the reason why the breaker was tripping. It's showing bad. Well, the breaker was tripping. See it split right there. See how it split? Water was getting in there and tripping the breaker. Yeah, you can see a lot of that calcium buildup in there. So I'm going to try to suck it out. Cut a little piece off the hose, off a garden hose, put it in my shop back. I'm not looking for perfection, but I'm looking for better than it was, and I'll take it. That's not all caked up in there. Kind of hard to see. Alright, I'm going to slide the new element in and drive on with my day. Alright, there's the new one. Don't forget the washer. Can't stress that enough. Why? Because I've done it. You gotta pull it right back out. Close up the hose bib. back up. Don't turn the breaker on yet though. Turn the water on first. Yeah, make sure you turn the water on first, kid. Do not turn the breaker on first. I can't stress that enough. You're gonna burn the new, the new elements out. So water first, then breaker. So far, so good. No leakies. 
All right, it's wired up. Got it buttoned up. Also turned it down a little bit. Somebody had it cranked up. I turned it down to about 125. So after you fill it up, then you can turn the breaker on. Just don't want to do it when it's empty. You're going to fry the new elements you put in. All right, Skid Bros, I filled up the tank, then turned the breaker back on. She fired up. I'm getting 240 to the top element, which comes on first. And that is why it was popping the breaker. It split on the other side as well. You can see the the guts coming out. Pretty easy fix. Just drain it if you want, or you can do the, the quick swap. I'm on the second floor, so I don't risk it with the old quick quick swap. Maybe first floor. But that's it. Simple fix. Just needs a new element. Alright, see you on the next video. Y'all stay safe.